Hey, how are you? I'm David at TwosCafe.org and I am going to do my famous sweet banana nut bread. Now, a lot of people have asked for this recipe since I made it with the cherries and everything in it. Today, we're going to make the cherry banana nut bread, but we're also going to do a little experimentation. So, once again, you can find all these recipes at www.QsCafe.org. That's Q S. C-A-F-E dot org and you can watch the video, you can download the recipe, you can do pretty much whatever. So, okay, first off here's Chef Cam and you can see exactly what we're going to be putting in here. We've got, uh, the, now the recipe calls for two to three very ripe bananas, but I love my bananas so I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, four very ripe bananas instead. We then have over here one third cup of melted butter, that's easy to do. Here we have three quarters cup of sugar, and of course that'll add the sweetness to it. One egg, lightly beaten. We also are be needing at least a teaspoon of good old vanilla extract. We'll also need some baking soda, which we have right here also, baking soda. A pinch of salt, as you know I like to use the sea salt. And then of course we have our one and a half cup of flour. So today we're gonna start with the one that everybody likes, and that's the cherry one. And you can see we've got a nice bowl of hand-torn cherries. But for the next one we're going to use, it's going to be mango nut. Now that might be interesting. It might be an epic fail too, but we'll see what we got. So let's get started, and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. First off, I take my Q's Cafe recipe book and kind of put it out of the way there. And we're going to try to hold the camera while I mash these bananas up so you can get a chef's view of it and you can see they're pretty you know they're pretty easy to do you want to make sure you get it all mashed up though get them all done because you don't want any big lumps or anything like that so here we go we're mashing and we're doing the old banana mash i feel like i should have some uh, monster mash music or something like that behind but you want to make sure you get it all nice and done in there just like that Make some noise too. Uh, I'm the only one here today. Uh, the rest of the Q's Cafe staff is out shopping for whatever. And you can see how it kind of starts to liquefy there a little bit too. But I do want to make sure that it's all nice and mashed up. I think that'll do it. So we'll take him, set him aside over here. Now the next thing we add is the one third cup of melted butter. And just out of the old Pyrex dish. Pour that right in there like this. There you go. Set him aside also. And then always remember, and this is important, always remember to have your tools with you at when you need them. Spatula. So let's go back to Chef Cam now and we'll stir in that melted butter. And that's kind of easy because that's just going to help liquefy the bananas even more. But I am told that the warm melted butter is what really makes this a very, very moist cake. So there we go, get it all nice and done in. Okay, so the recipe uh, from QScafe.org now calls for the three quarter cup of sugar. So let's sprinkle that in. Okay, and then it also uh, says to go ahead and uh, put in the baking soda, salt, the beaten egg. So here goes the egg. Okay, there's that. We'll set him aside also. Now, I'm going to have to stop for just a minute to measure out the uh, teaspoon of uh, baking soda in that. So, cut. Okay, I just added the teaspoonful of vanilla extract. Now, we're going to add in the teaspoonful of baking soda. Kind of get it rounded off there just right. Throw that in there. Let's set all this aside because I do like a good, clean kitchen here at Q's Cafe. It makes it so it's a lot easier to do your work. Set all that aside, set that aside too, and we'll continue. Okay, we're back again on Chef Cam, and as you can see, we've added in the sugar, the baking soda, the vanilla extract, the egg, and now we're going to get it all nice and stirred up in there. And really, the only thing we have left to do is put the flour in and also the uh, fruit that we're going to be using also. The oven is set at 350. Always remember to get that done first. Okay, now, let's move this over here where the folks at home can see too. We put in a little pinch of salt, 
just a little bit, not much. Set that aside, stir it in. Now, a lot of people uh, will go ahead and put the flour in right now, but I always put the fruit in first if I'm using it and the nuts. Then it's a lot easier to fold it into the flour. So let's put some uh, cherries in there just to see how much we want. We can always add some more here in just a moment, but that's good enough right now, I think. And we'll set that over here. There we go. So we stir the cherries in. We may add some more cherries. It just kind of depends. We'll kind of see where it goes from here. We don't want to overpower it, but I'll tell you one thing. I could use a little bit more cherry. Oh, what the heck. What, what the heck, I say. <laughs> it'll, all, it'll be more like a, a fruit bar or something like that. So, Okay, now we also want to add in our nuts. So our, uh, we got uh, chopped English walnuts, as you can see. Get that off there. So we have chopped English walnuts. There you go on Chef Cam. I want to set Chef Cam down so I can open it. Okay, we're adding our chopped English walnuts into the mix now. And you can kind of do this by hand, uh, you know, by eye. Just throw some in there, mix it up a little bit. Let's see where we're at. I think that's going to be perfect. That'll be nice and nutty. And now we get to do what we all wanted to see in the first place, and that's to put in our flour. And then we're going to be pretty close to uh, getting things ready to go. So a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. We'll just put that in there like that, okay? Set that aside, get that aside also. Now here's where it might get a little tricky using Chef Cam, but I'm just going to take it nice and slow. Kind of fold all that in just like this. We're not in a hurry. Good banana nut bread is a labor of love. So you just kind of, I want to get down here a little closer so I can hold. Now viewers on Chef Cam may get some flour in their eye but I think we'll be okay. So here we go, stir it up real nice, and you're right there in the bowl with it, so enjoy. Don't pick up my cherries though, okay? So we'll get it all nice and in. So, and so you've kind of seen that. So here we go, we're stirring it up, and we got off of Chef Cam there so I can use both hands because it does get a little bit doughy, and I want to make sure that all the ingredients are in there and mixed up nice and good. Okay, and that's pretty good. Now you don't want to do it too much because kneading the dough is going to release, uh, you know, the, the, the glutens and, and things like that. And then your bread will be a little tough. But that's just about right. Okay, now we're going to put it in the pan. There's Chef Cam right there to show you what the consistency is going to look like. And we've got our little bake pan here ready to go. It's already been sprayed with Baker's Secret, and we're gonna pour it in and see what we can do about making some banana nut bread. So our next step is just to pour this in to the bowl. Get it all nice in there. and Try to get as much as you can of it. That's why I like these silicon spatulas, because they really help you. They're heat resistant, and you just pour them in there like that. And there you go. Again, don't eat the dough. It's got a raw egg in it. Not good at all. Okay, so we're back to, there you go. We're back to Chef Cam. There's a look at the pan. So let's go ahead and take them. We're gonna put them in the oven at 350 degrees. Okay, I wanted to show you what the banana nut bread looks like after it comes out of the oven. Over on this side here, we've got the cherry banana nut bread. And over here, we have got the mango. And you can see the mango chunks in there looking really good. Over here, you see the cherries looking real good. And as luck would have it, we decided to try out the cherry one just to see if it's any good or not. And there you can see looking pretty good. I think I used too much cherries though, so it's really, really moist. But uh, it is very tasteful, very moist, very buttery from all that nice butter. And of course, it will probably take the mango one. I kind of want to try it too. So we'll give it a little taste and then we're going to wrap them and freeze them up for holiday times or, you know, just whenever we want some to kind of nosh on for breakfast. So 
Okay, that's all we have today for you at Q'scafe.org. We did the uh, cherry banana nut bread and we did the mango banana nut bread. And I think they're going to be rather tasty. So give them a try. Again, you can find us at www.Q'scafe.org. That's Q-S-C-A-F-E.org. Until next time, have a great afternoon.